Again, I say to you, the kingdom shall be taken from you and given to another. For many are called, but few are chosen. Now I'm all the more convinced. The kingdom will be taken from you, he said. And given to another, given to the few who are chosen. Were we few not chosen on the shores of Galilee? The weight of it all. This very temple will be his palace. Friends, do you see these walls? Yes, master. We know what you're about to say. The day is coming when they shall fall, and there shall not be one stone left upon another. It doesn't make sense. He rises to power, then the temple is destroyed? That can't be what he meant. There shall not be one stone left upon another. Those were his words. It must be a parable, or a saying that means something else. Well, maybe a new temple will be built in place of the old one. Maybe there will be a battle, and we'll have to fight those Romans after all. Come, let's ask the master. Friends, be not deceived concerning the coming day of my power. We are not deceived, Lord. We know you've come to rule over Israel, over the whole world. Again I say unto you, be not deceived. For before that day, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and they shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in many places. And there shall be famines and pestilence. These are the beginning of sorrows. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken. Lord, when shall all this be? No man knows that day, not even the Son of Man. Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord will come. Hear this parable. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man preparing to travel to a distant country, who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. That's how he said it. Long journey. He didn't say when you'd be coming back? All he said was long journey. And I get seasick. I hate long journeys. I'm sick for a long time. He's leaving. How do you like that? Oh, no. Now I gotta find a new job. No, 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 no. He wants each of you to stay on. You mean I have a job working for someone who's never gonna be around? <laughs> now that is good news. 
Don't get too comfortable. There's supplies to load. This is a long journey. I'm not working through the night. He expects too much. Ah! Tell the master everything will be ready in the morning. Ah, oh, thank you, Eric. Tola. Mm. Good morning, Tola. Where is... Sorry, Master. I'm... I'm not feeling well. I'm sorry to hear that, Hod. There's something I'd like you three to care for while I'm gone. I'm entrusting you with these precious coins. You may do with them as you wish, but when I return, there will be an accounting. See that they multiply. I divided these coins according to your different experience and abilities. Hod, I will expect much more from Ered and Tola when I return than I will from you. They have received more. But if you are a good steward over this one silver coin, your reward will be the same as theirs. I promise you. All I expect is for you to do your best. Each one of you is very special to me. I will miss you all. Look, Cod, I'll be happy to help you if you want. Me too. Oh, no. I know the Master too well. I'm not risking this coin. No, sir. In fact, I'm gonna bury it, right now. When the master comes back, I'll dig it up, and he can have his coin. He's making a big mistake. The best way to persuade him is to show him how to make these coins grow. Dear God in heaven, I need your help in making these coins grow. Give me the wisdom to the know the best, best way for me to use these coins so I can give a good accounting when the master returns. Amen. Pardon, can you show me the shortest way to the valley beyond the lake? It's this way. Ten days by foot. Ten days? But, but I can see it from here. <laughs> That's true, but the lake is very long. <sighs> No one lives in that valley, you know. Oh, I know. But the Emperor got this big idea and says he wants people to live there now. So he sent all of us. All of who? 200 families, all coming this way. 200 families? Oh, it's a prime piece of land, that's for sure. Of course, I can't sell it cheap. <laughs> Well, there's a few hard spots here and there. That's that's good for a house, you know. A nice, firm foundation. But I'm going to plant wheat. Wheat? Uh, wheat? As, as in wheat? Wheat? Wheat that, that grows in the ground wheat? Oh, I've met some crazy men in my life, but you are... Whoa! Definitely not one of them. <laughs> Sold. Guess I'll go feed the horses. Then, uh, take another nap. Oh no! How come Aaron and Tola didn't fix this? They think I'm gonna do everything while they're off multiplying their coins. They got another thing coming. Taking the day off. Hi. Tadok? I haven't seen you ever since you got that, uh, what do they call it? A job? Yeah, but you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me from now on. <laughs> you got fired again, huh? The master's gone on a long journey. 
Well, then what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go have some fun. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh, you're buying right, because I'm kind of broke right now. <laughs> Cleaned out the stables, right? Yep. Uh, looks like we're done. Good night. <laughs> They're gonna do it all. of many widowed women. Could we follow behind you and gather the wheat you miss to feed our children? How many children are there? Forty or so. Wait. The rest of this field belongs to you and the other widows. All of it? It takes a lot to feed forty children. But you must make a living, too. There's still time to plant again before the end of harvest. I'll be fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ready? Go! Just the man I was looking for. 200 families are moving to the valley beyond the lake. Every one of them will pay to be ferried across the lake rather than walk around it. If you help me, you could double that one coin of yours in no this time. Todd's friend, I... I'm not talking to you, and you're the furthest thing from a friend I could possibly imagine. Why do you and Arid keep coming here? I'm not going to risk losing that coin. But the master... The master expects too much. This is the finest wheat I've ever seen. How much to buy back my field? Sorry, not for sale. But you can have all of my wheat for ten coins and still make a good profit. Sold! All I can pay. Oh, I I'm grateful. If 200 farmers pay the same, I'll have 200 chickens to sell.
Hello, Eren. Welcome home, Master. How have you done with my five coins? I have gained five more. Well done. And because you've been faithful over these few things, I will make you ruler over many. Thank you, Master. And you, Tola? You gave me two, Master. And now, I'm turning four. Well done, Tola. You too shall be made a ruler over many things. Your reward will be just as great as Herod's. Hard? Master, I, I... I was afraid. I knew that no matter what I did with it, you'd never be satisfied, so I buried it. Here. At least I didn't lose it. Oh, Hod. Couldn't you have at least given it to the bankers so I could have interest on it? You see? You're never satisfied. You expect too much. I only expected you to do your best. If you had, your reward would have been no different than the others. I promised you that. Here, give this to Aaron. I'm sorry, Hod. You can no longer live and work here. I am sorry. He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten maidens. Five of them were wise, and five were foolish. So what, Leah? So we forgot oil for our lamps. It doesn't matter. I don't know why you made us bring them anyhow. We don't need them in the broad daylight. I told you, sometimes the bridegroom doesn't arrive until very late. Sometimes. <laughs> you worry too much, Leah. It'll be all right. We'll leave for the wedding at sundown. Sundown? Oh, that's a bit late, isn't it? I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to get there. <laughs> you needn't worry about that, Judah. The entire city is waiting to accompany you to the wedding. Do you think we could have missed him? How could we have? We've been here all day. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some rest. Wake us up when he arrives, Leah.
Judah arrives. Master, Judah arrives. Fall in line for the wedding party. Master Judah arrives. Fall in line for the wedding party. Fall in line for the wedding party. Oh, we've been around this part of the city several times, Judah, uh, sir. Are you sure everyone's had a chance to hear? I should think so. I... I don't want to leave anyone behind. Master! Judah arrives! Oh, no, 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 no. We've given ample warning. All right, then. Now, on to the wedding. Master! Judah arrives! Fall in line for the wedding party! Let us begin. Oh, God, we come before thee. Judah! 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 Who calls? Your friends. Your friends? Do I know you? Hold up your lamps so I can see your faces. Well... <laughs> We have no oil. Our light has gone out. If you are my friends, why didn't you come when I called? Come, Judah. It's time to begin. I, I, I'm sorry. I know you not. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. <laughs> 